president and owner of the United Wrestling Alliance. So unfortunately. And right now, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you the UWA Elite Champion. Oh, wonderful. Oh, get, ready. Grayson. get ready for this reaction. Oh, Grayson, come Trying to stack I actually the deck. have a, a, a gift to give to Ben Grayson. Oh, love of like he hasn't you been see, awarded the enough that gifts. You're holding right now. It represents the Sean Damage McDellis era here at UWA Elite. Damn right it does. Yeah. There we yeah, all that, love. And I guess what do we have now? The Ben Grayson error? Oh. The Ben Grayson experience. Right now, a new I want to present to you the new UWA Elite Championship to represent the Vin Grayson era. And Ken, I, I mean, I, I never thought I'd have, uh, say the term spoiled wrestler, but I mean, how many more? Boy, you what, fit, you know, what was he going to come in uh, with a parade next oh, week? Oh, this is oh, 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 my God. He just threw that belt in the mud. I am better than anybody in this locker room, than anybody in the crowd tonight, and than anybody watching at home. He does have a point. Oh, that belt. Oh, oh, somebody heard of that. And one of the more controversial UWA superstars. Everybody knows the only reason that you have that title is because you're his boy toy. Ooh. Oh. Robbie Rowe. He won a match with Ben Grayson. That's that what you're saying. I'll tell you what. You can have your match with Ben Grayson. This Thursday at Action Zone oh, presents Raw for it all. Wow. Huge Action Zone match. It's a big match. Big gets bigger. Oh. oh. And you saw it coming from a mile away. Bobby Roode didn't. Dave Swan with the distraction, the bait and switch, so to speak. Bobby, and Bobby Roode was obviously thinking a little too much with his heart, not with his head here. And wait a minute! Sean McNellis! Sean Damage McNellis, former champion and former number one contender. You know what? You want to come out here? You want to be a hero? You want to be a star? I'll tell you what. You just made the biggest mistake of your career because effective right now, your name has been removed from the brawl first. What? Oh. What? Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. King Tech, go for Dragon Slayer! Oh. And he nails it! Go for Dragon Oh, that's not Well, this is going to turn off like I hope I'm not feeling the last. 
entire UWA uh, world behind him. The fans, the locker room, the agents, everybody is looking for Roller to uh, kick Vin Grayson's teeth right down his throat. Bobby Roller, I don't think Bobby Roller realizes what people pay to meet Vin Grayson up and close like this. And he's getting a chance of a lifetime here. And Robbie Roller here. Side headlock applied here as Robbie Roller wrenches the head and neck area of the champion. Whoa! Vin Grayson first down and back into a headlock here. I will say this, Vin Grayson, he does, he does have, it's not like Vin Grayson's a bad wrestler. He's actually quite a good wrestler, Absolutely. especially beyond a little beyond his years. And I've always said Vin Grayson has the switch. You think you got him beat and out of nowhere he flips the switch and all of a sudden you're on your back for a three count. Absolutely, but you know what? I'm honestly shocked here, Joey J. I thought this match was going to go a lot different than it is. I thought Robbie Roller was going to come in, punches flying, kicks flying, KDH, and everything that moves. And it, it, what we got here is a nice classic wrestling match. Well, I, I think as much as Robbie Roller would love to beat up our champion straight up, I think he also wants to prove that he is a better wrestler. That Robbie Roller deserves to have the spotlight over Vin Grayson because he is a better wrestler. And the two men in the ring, Roller believes he's the better man at what they do. And there's the kicks you were mentioning. Yeah, this one didn't take too long to open up. Yeah, we had to think this was going to generate rather quickly here. Robbie Roller now picking Vin Grayson up off the mat. Vin Roadkill. Vin Grayson, lights are on, nobody's home. Vin Grayson trying to beg off. Ball upside down, Robbie Roller. Robbie Roller taking his time. Huge scoop slam in the middle of the ring. I gotta say, Robbie Roller is coming at this much different than he usually does. He's very pacing himself. Um, he's, not, he's not flying around the ring like a jumping bean. You gotta think Vin Grayson was expecting that stuff. Absolutely, Robbie Roller, and maybe Robbie Roller uh, was expecting that Vin Grayson was expecting on, it. Baby, changing up title. his game plan, changing up his strategy, and so far it's working as Robbie Roller is really employing a more methodical approach to this match. Robbie Roller is the winner of quite possibly the, the, the greatest tournament in the history of the United Wrestling Alliance, the uh, UWA Crossroads 2010. Absolutely, that he was. I believe you went through uh, Big, you went through... Uh, Here's the test for you, <laughs> John uh, Evans. Went through Big Dan, the outlaw Dave Winant, Cypress, Mike Quest, and Arkham. To win that, to win that tournament, and that is a who's who of UWA uh, future Hall of Famers right there. As Robbie Roller's entire oop, and right into that second quarter, and Vin Grayson. That's what I mean. He's got the switch. He can flip it on you in a second. Now where was the? As Robbie Roller really came of age in that tournament, he certainly had his issues with management as of late, but it was uh, awarded a return. A mischief nightmare, and now has a huge opportunity to really rise in the ranks here by beating Robbie our world Roller. champion. Robbie Roller! On a big DT! 
Robbie Roller on Dream Street. Make you get there by Roller. And Vin Grayson, oh, maybe yeah, that in the that base of a feminine referee, Vinny B. That Please. lack of that 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 age that age example there again coming into play, more concerned with the referee than he is about his opponent. All right, I'm strong. I can tell you, know, efficient. As usual, uh, well, Vin Grayson uh, trying to suplex the, the larger uh, Robbie Roller. It's not happening here. Yeah. yeah, Robbie Roller is just putting all his weight down, his center of gravity as low as possible, and Robbie Roller got the champ up oh, with uh, ease, up and down he goes. Woo! I'm strong, not him. <laughs> Robbie Roller. I really letting us know everything that goes on in his mind. Robbie Roller, quite the confident individual and really has all the reason to be as he is really wrestling circles around our champion. Hey, he's beating them down. That he is, really having a good go of it, better go of it than uh, some of Grayson's past uh, adversaries. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, the knee. And that could be all. She's the outlaw, Dave won it. And Robbie Roller. Could have had this one wrapped up, but Vin Grayson wisely takes a powder, gets out of the ring. Very wisely. Man. And now Vin Grayson. Oh, Grayson running around the ring trying to escape Robbie Roller. Robbie Roller, it was hard to get your footing out there as Vin Grayson able to kick the rope into the nether regions of Robbie Roller. And just like that, Grayson is back in control. Oh, get out of it! Oh, 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 Robbie Roller had this match won with the power behind the knee, and Vin Grayson was able to win on him just what? like that. <laughs> and again, Grayson more concerned with the referee than he is about Robbie Roller. All right, here we go. Uh, Vin Grayson now coming back to Robbie Roller. He's got to take advantage <laughs> of this momentary uh, momentum switch here. Robbie Roller fighting him off. Robbie Roller using that strength to just create some distance. Vin Grayson getting angry. Robbie Roller! Oh, oh my God. boy! That's that killer death hit. And that, and that might be it. Hedges! And wait a minute! It's that freaking Hedges! Hedges still! Come on! Just does not win! Doesn't know when to quit! And once again, Vin Grayson. Vin Grayson's crying to Vinny B. And Vinny B, I don't know, maybe the cycles are synced up or something because Vinny B's all about it. One, two, that's good. And do once it. again, Vin Grayson stumbles into the winner of this contest. I the can't WWE stand the league champion, Vin Grayson. Way to go, Vin. Really, really excellent officiating there. Vin Grayson still kind of won. And still undefeated. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Guys need to start to put everything on the line here. As one of my best friends in the entire world used to say, it is time, UWA Elite, to raise the bar. Wow. I'm not here for anyone in particular. If it's you, if it's anybody else, just know that I'm ready. Whoa. No way. He's ready, is that, is that what it, no, think no. I mean? That's what I mean. I, I'm speechless. Just drew a line in the sand here, Cross folks. the line! Cross 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 the line! Legend. You ready? Blue. You ready? Yeah. Really? When was the last time you were relevant in oh, anywhere? Oh, anywhere! Oh, that's respect! Oh, yeah. 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 Anywhere! I'm talking anywhere! I'm the hottest thing right now! I'm the best thing to happen to this company! Are you telling me that if I close this line, 
that you're gonna drop me on my head or you're gonna do some Arcadia thing? That's right. Really? That's what you're telling me? I think you're full of crap. Uh, you really I would, uh, I would, you know, that's some big boy talk for an you wee little bit of man. You, you want me to cross this line, don't you? No, I do. You really, really you do not know how much I want you to cross that line. Here's the deal. No, 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 no. Just take your time. I don't want you to make a decision now. You got three days to lose the t title, and then you can come talk to me. After that, anybody else wants to come knocking, my door is always open. UWA Elite, this is your champion. This is your champion. That's him. Right there. Hey, if this is the best that we got, I'm glad I'm back. Wow! Arcadia is back, folks! I can't believe it. Welcome back! Welcome back! And who Welcome better back. than Welcome living back. UWA legend Welcome Arcadia back. to come out here and said exactly what needed to be said. And to hear it from Arcadia is about as major as, thing as anybody you can hear it from. I'll dance a little bit of your face, how about that? We're gonna be right back in that action zone main event. Arcadia is is walking out on Big Ray. Oh. That's good. We cross the, cross the line, huh? I crossed the line. I did dance and I crossed the line. We'll be right back. Yeah. Yep. And we're back, folks. Body spray, body spray. Oh, 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 body spray. Can I get something that's not going to be only body spray? Body spray. Body spray. On the last episode of Action Zone, a certain somebody came out here and said that I care more about smelling good than I do in this ring. You're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Well, well, Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. You know, son, I'm looking at you right in the eye. You know what? When I was 14 years old, I used to watch you down the street. And you know what? I want to be just like you. Oh, wow. 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 I said, when I get into wrestling, I don't know, guy, he's awesome. You know, I want to be just like him. So, you know, a few years passed by, I started breaking the wrestling. 
And right now, I'm looking you right in the eye, and you know what I see? I see a washed up, jealous prick. Whoa! Sweet words never spoken. Right now, I would never want to look like Arcadia. I would never want to wrestle like Arcadia. I would not even want to be seen with Arcadia. We're being seen now with him. Unfortunately, I am right now. And it makes me sick. Let me tell you something. You know in Major League Baseball that the prime age is 28. And Arcadia, you're uh, 28 years old, right? Yeah. Too bad you know your prime was six years ago. Wow. Oh. DJ played here. Arcadia's just taking it. Look. Somebody tell Arcadia. And Arcadia, you didn't come back because you cared about, you know, seeing these new guys step up. You cared because you seen the new guys taking your spot. Wow. You had to come back and make this major comeback so people cared about Arcadia. You know some Arcadia? You are far from relevant anymore. Wow. Whoa! I am shocked. I'm just shocked because an Arcadia driver in the hell yet. TJ Blade. And you know, so I came out here to do something about it. Alright? I want to settle it right here, right now. I guess, yeah. I guess TJ Blade's crossing the line. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Settle it. I gotta say, this TJ Blade, I gotta hand it to him. He is what taking do you do? it head Let's on. Save it up! No, there is no intimidation for TJ Blade here. always has wrist tape, Daddy. I wasn't talking about a wrestling match. Oh. I wanted to sell out out here like two human beings. You know, we can voice each other's opinions back and forth. Boo. He wants no. a debate. Just when I give the big problem, he wanted to debate. I'm not looking to wrestle you. I got bigger plans and bigger expectations tonight. I think about the brawl for all. Like going for a brawl for it all and winning and going the last Brett. Arcadia. Last Brett? This isn't 2005 anymore. Okay. I'm going to be in the main event of last Brett, not you. And TJ Blade. TJ Blade uh, shot. Strong words. Oh. The audio is up in here. <coughs> and words rightfully so. Arcadia main event of last Brett's 2004 and 2005. How's that for crossing the line? Where are you go? Oh. Wow. Although I'm disappointed in the fact that he didn't back it up, I will say TJ Blade really... We're back, folks, with more Action Zone. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. <laughs> Joe Hall 
And you got you got to wonder if Sean Davis really has to. Uh, but, but Joey J, think about now the hitting ability of Sean Davis McNellis. As we've been pointing out, everyone that's in the brawl for all today, Sean Davis McNellis, as we saw on All Stars, is not in the brawl for all. Sean Davis McNellis absolutely has a chip on his shoulder, and that could be some much needed motivation and bad news for the All Joe Hall. He just pie faces the former champion. Sean McNellis with the odds on favor. Oh! Definitely odds on favor to win. And Dave Swanson right, right out. The ugly mug. And, and, and you know what? Oh. Damage is already uh, got to be an angry man. Joe Hall is just asking for it. Yeah, I, I, this isn't a smart move by Joe Hall here. Oh, ducks under. Oh, yeah. That rear end took his bomb. The keister bomb. And a huge clothesline for Sean Dan McNellis to recover, but Joe Hall right out of it. Joe Hall right out of it. Sean Dan McNellis. Davis McNellis has beat a lot of people in UWA. He's never beat better than all Joe Hall. Better than all Joe Hall for like two weeks. Yeah, better That's than all. That's besides the point. Better than all Joe Hall here. Now on the receiving end. Oh, Joe! Joe! all about. This is a choo-choo splash. Here comes Joe Hall! champion who might be out. Effing some face there. Signature the offense. Guard for the ah, one, one, two, three, four. Oh, so no guard for the sensors. And Joe Hall going right to the blatant choke. Stomping him down. And now Joe Hall in control. And you know the, he's going he's gonna to be throwing bones now. And Sean Daniels McNellis is in a world of trouble. Joe Hall just breaking the face on the rope. Sean Damage McNellis is hurting. Took some skin off the face there. Absolutely. Oh, oh winds right up. In. Oh, got him up now. The cold calculated attack of Joe Hall. Oh, 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 oh my god. Three, ah, ripping ah, and tearing ah, like a pit bull. Using those fingers to find any hole he can and start to push and pull and rip and tear. Snap me. Right for that rear chin lock, and better than all, Joe Hall is in. This match is going right his way. This is exactly what Joe Hall is looking for, keeping his opponent grounded, keeping him stunned, applying the pain, applying the pressure. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Go for a cup here is Joe Hall one. Two. Is he's just out of position. Might have been a three count, if not for that. And now Joe Hall back to that chin lock. As Sean Damage McNellis may be a little surprised here. I don't think Sean Damage McNellis is used to these, uh, you know, the, as you said, the Smash Mouth wrestling style Absolutely. of better than all Joe Hall. Joe Hall is a brawler, is a fighter with a best of the And that stupid headband. And the headband goes flying. Joe Hall with some veteran like offense there, knowing to get that headband off. Absolutely. Fabled headband. The rumors surrounding that headband. Are uh, many and wide. It's now Joe Hall. Oh! Joe Hall tried to uh, duck down for the back body drop, but Sean Damage McNellis had it well scouted and delivered the punch. But oh, right on top of the head! Joe Hall was one of the most vicious wiggle flexes I've ever seen. Right on his head! Sean Damage McNellis able to kick out with that outside shoulder, maybe not enough body on body. One of the reasons why Sean Damage McNellis is the most popular wrestler in the UWA, he's able to kick out of stuff like that Regal Flex. At least he got the headband back on. That's true. Some Maybe. say it's where the power lies. It's not Hulk Hogan's hands, it's Sean McNellis' headband. And Absolutely. now Joe Hall uh, measuring. Uh, this could be a mistake here. That Over that back fist attack. Sean ah! with a solo. Sean style combo to Joe Hall. Welcome to UWA. Joe Hall hooks the leg. Not enough for the three, but Sean Damage McNellis, perhaps that Sambo is just what he needed to get back in control. And what a coup it will be for Joe Hall. If it is third match in the other fights, he can defeat former champion Sean McNellis. What a, what a statement. I mean, talk about a notice me moment beating Sean Damage McNellis. Well, right now, he is uh, definitely on the defensive end of the <laughs> Need a men budget. Again. Sean Damage McNellis, Joe Hall. Ah! Two rams. Sean McNellis is fired up. Both men down. We'll put an end to that rally. And a huge one. show of power by both men. Neither one budget. Two. 
You have to wonder if all that screaming take, takes a lot of uh, Sean's energy away. Well, Sean Damage Nellis is one of the most, if not the most resilient man in the UWA. And Joel Hall is going to have to match that resiliency to get to his feet and stay in this match. Here we go. Sean Damage Nellis up. By the way, Joe Hall. That's Joe Hall. Sean Nellis. Back and forth. Third round around to go here. Slug fast and silly. Oh, oh. Joe Hall goes down. And Sean Damage McNellis, perhaps surprisingly, wins that slugfest. Continues the offense. Uh, quick reverse there, up and over. Uh oh. Caught. Joel's got him. Ah! Death Valley Driver. What a Death Valley Driver that was. Oh, oh. Oh, innovative Death Valley Driver there. A little bit of rotation involved. And Sean Damage McNellis was able to get the shoulder up. Joel throws up and take the pad again. He's over that back fist one more time. I'll tell you what, got to hand it to Joe Hall. He's really taking it to the former champion. But Joe Hall nails his back fist, though. It's over. Oh, That's going to do it. Nelson's finisher is perfect. To cover that move. That's going to do it. That's it. The winner of this contest, Sean Damage McNellis. May not be the champion. He may not be the Upset with the scout here. One. Go for another Joker driver. He got the bicycle kick. Go for the sharpshooter. Turn him, scout. On the stage. Archer doesn't know what's going on. St. Bench is biting on that hollow pad. Let's try to stop. Hey, Tab. Oh. has been eliminated. Well, that's going to do it. The scout, Johnny Eagle, has been eliminated. The winner of this contest and sole survivor, Gentlemen, Arco. Let's run my mind. Arco in the right place at the right, right time. <laughs> what a winning match. What a victory. Arco just been the eye champion here, folks. Yeah. 
champion, the scout, Young Eagle. Triple J, Joe Johnson Jr. alongside Kay Cassidy and John Wiesel for this I Championship match. As Arkham trying to steal that title already. And there you see that's what it's all about. And this I Championship match, the fans vote for the stipulations of these title matches. This one contested under no time limit. This will go until we have a winner. Absolutely, as you hinted. There's the bell. As you hinted earlier, when you're in a match with the Brotherhood, you're in a match with the whole Brotherhood. Absolutely. You got one, you get them all. Absolutely. And Scout, who is definitely an inspirational story since the early days of the UWA, finally reaching uh, the top of the mountain, so to speak. The celebration could be ended early here if Arkham has his way. Arkham wants to take the win out of us. Scout sales here. Absolutely. He has been on a roll. Waste. Absolutely. You know, that's everything that he's worked for here in UWA Elite, and Brotherhood wants to rob him of that. Conspicuous by the absence, we have Scout. Where is and friends? Maybe even up his playing field a little bit right now. It's Scout all on his own, just a testament to the uh, competitive nature of, of Giant Scout Eagle. No, no Brand the Bull, no Elder Four. Oh, oh, and and, and Arthur going oh, right to the dirty oh, tactics. Oh, I make all of my oh, two dirty moves oh, right oh, oh, And there oh, is the Dark oh, Angel. Oh, 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 the rest of oh, it. Yeah, the rough season, not much has been done, the damage already done, and Arkham has the early advantage. The ref doesn't have the power to put the Brotherhood out. I can only hope that the ref utilizes that power. Well, the thing is, for the referee to utilize that power, you would have to see these two get involved more. So it's basically at the cost of more interference and more of this stuff. And we already have one. We have another right here. And I mean, that's sacrificing uh, Chinese Scout Eagles, you know, health and well-being. Power, actually strain to the midsection of Scout here, giving Arkham more leverage than you would get on a normal flying move. Oh, hey, 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 physically getting involved in leads to a series of counters by Scout, a hit down followed by Arkham. It's the opening Scout need, and Johnny has a good red race lap here. Arkham, the Grizzle Tomorrow, widely veteran, going right on home base. Brotherhood, Arkham's still a threat. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Arkham, again. Still knows his way around a ring. Absolutely. Oh, a story, grizzled and highly crafty veteran, what uh, a longtime UWA original is Arkham, and uh, 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 to boot completely unstable and unpredictable to boot. And back to the dirty tactics as the I vote. The ref was trying to uh, break up the corner action there. John was trying to do his job, but it did create an opening for Arkham. As Arkham now back to that show, admiring his handiwork. As Arkham is probably a pretty scary individual to be with. So unpredictable and so off of center, off kilter. I mean, we've already seen him come out and abduct uh, the uh, Elder Foreman's uh, Bible, and now the next thing he would like to do is take the Scout's Eye Champion. 
that innovative offense that he's uh, become so well Come known on, for. Scott, it ain't pretty, but it's getting the job on. done in that instance. Come on. Yeah, Arkham bringing it to the corner. Head first into the turnbuckle as Arkham now in complete control. Back to that throat, using the hand, using the foot. And Arkham might get himself disqualified if he keeps harping on these illegal moves. Oh! oh Bloody shot! Oh, what yeah. a yeah. And now Arkham, uh... Well, taking his time here, this could be... Oh, he does! Now gets his foot off. Gal able to get the breather he needed that split second. Oh, oh yeah. that time Arkham had him well scouted. Oh. Just pulls the rug out for Arkham. Ah. And this crowd from behind Scout. Scout's gonna need everything he can, uh, everything he can get here. He is in a bad, bad way. Oh, you're absolutely ah! right. I mean, he's ah! one of the best, and ah! he doesn't like you. You're in trouble. Absolutely. Ah! And Especially he doesn't with like many people. Arkham looking to wrap this one up. Oh, on. A nonchalant pin. Don't know why he was surprised by the oh, 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 championship match, yeah. UWA Elite. Yeah. Uh, on the yeah. cutting edge yeah. of innovation, yeah. bringing you yeah. the championship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, title yeah. is defended yeah. over fan, uh, yeah. under fan yeah. rules. Oh. And the scout and the top rope is takes the rope. plunge as the top rope breaks. And Arkham is gonna. Arkham is going to take advantage of the situation. And the referee does not know what to do now. And Arkham knows what to do, unfortunately. Well, the match, the bell is not rung. The match is continuing. I mean, this is real life. It happens. It does happen. Arkham taking full advantage of it, using the rope to choke his opponent in a way that I've probably never seen before. And now he's applying the forearms. This match will continue. The I Championship will be defended. There must be a winner. Now, with the uh, Russian leg sweep. Could that be No, no only not a two count for Scout. Scout has been taking an exorbitant amount of punishment so far. And, Ar and he's going to apply some more for Arkham. Oh, and Arkham. Scout was trying to at least use that, uh, that second rope to spring off of. Arkham Cross Counters. And Eagle has been trying so hard to build some momentum, and Arkham has been there at every twist and turn to cut him off. And Arkham is going to slam him. He's going to slow him down here now with that chin lock. Slow yeah. down the pace of this match. Remember, since Never. the beginning of this match, uh, Arkham Never. has been going to the throat. Never. Chokes, Never. foot chokes. He's been doing everything he can to take the breath out and wear down and, and collapse and tighten up his lungs and wear down Eagle his entire match. Eagle still with something yeah. in the tank yeah. as he gets to his feet and he yeah. grabs the elbows. Yeah. 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 The rope says it ain't able to do it. Arkham yeah. yeah. gets out of the Joker driver. Yeah. 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 Could it be the scout shooter here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! And yeah. Arkham yeah. picks him up and goes right into the ref yeah. in the process. Yeah. And that could be bad yeah. news yeah. for Scout. Wait a minute, Scout! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Crowd here, and Arkham Counting still the kicks out. But there is no ref to count the three count here. Yeah, yeah. Now this. Scout trying to get to that, trying to do something with this, with this fault and ring here. And that might be a mistake here. I guess it is. Extra time as the referees are just in time here. Both men do come out in the dilapidated yeah, corner. Anyway. Scout is up. Yeah, Scout. <laughs> And he's got his foot on the rope. Arkham, great ring presence there. Oh, and we get his foot on the rope at the last second. And that big second rope splash by Scout. Oh, and Arkham again, knowing exactly what to do and when to do it. Saw the referee was in a perfect position for the low blow. Uh oh, Joker driver. Oh, don't tell me. Could this be it? Can we have a new I champion? As Arkham delivers the patented Joker driver. And wait a minute, this time it's the scout who gets 
His foot on the rope. The hell? And Arkham can't believe it. Well, Arkham's got medicine. good ring presence, and so does Scout. Scout show, show brought it to the dance there as Arkham showing frustration here. The, the two counts, the two count Arkham. You want to win this match, you got to get on your opponent. Oh! Going to continue to work on that leg. Yep. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Wait a minute! Ah! Scout! Turns him over! He's in the Scout Shooter! What yeah. great presence yeah. of mind yeah. to counter yeah. the move in yeah. such a fashion? Nowhere to go. Yeah. Arkham gets the rope. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying. Yeah. He's trying to get yeah. some kind of leverage. Oh, he yeah. pushes the scout yeah. off yeah. into the referee, who's down yeah. for a second yeah. time. No. The scout's up. He should be more concerned. Oh, oh wait a minute. No way. And look at this. Johnny yeah. Eagle yeah. able to, to catch the low blow attempt. Yeah. And the scout shooter for the third time. Valentine, Michael Massacre. Scout is down. The Winter's Brotherhood is down. The has been down for the second time in the Brotherhood. And here comes Fred in the ball. Here comes Elder Foreman. Here comes Ant Fred. Here comes Ant Francis Wright. We got ourselves a three on three now as Arkham is in the ring. Oh my God, Fred in the ball. Just straight knocked Arkham out. Arkham. Arkham's out cold, and uh, his jaw might be broken, his cheek might be cracked. The scout is stirring. The scout is up. The scout is using the brotherhood. Take the book. Take the book. Take the book back. And now the scout looking for one more. Elder, there's the book. Yeah. And a salute for waiting for the Arkham to scurry. Don't tell me. No, Arkham, with that high championship. I can't believe it. Right across the head of Scout. No, no, no. The ref's scurrying up. One, two, three. Oh, it's a scurry. The winner of this contest and new UWAOEI champion, Arkham. This match has had Call that the holy monkey. <laughs> what? And he's got the pin. Dude! Ah! Wow! Kicked out again! How? <laughs> They're playing a game where I can't keep you down here. This is this is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable action. Here. And now Arcadia getting really angry at Good for Danny little, Baker. Little Danny Baker. What's he doing? Oh! oh. And now Danny, Danny Baker, Baker going into the ring the hard way. Oh, come, come on, leave Danny Baker alone, Arcadia. Don't do it, Arcadia. <laughs> Saying don't hurt me. It looks like he's not going to hurt him. Aw. Hit him! No! Oh, no! Let him move! I know 
Danny. Fans checking on Danny. Shoot it the doctor. And gentlemen, now the referee's knocked out. Arcadia can do whatever he pleases to check. Wait! Check's coming back! Check the county! Check the county coming! He got it! He got it! This match is over! Hey, what the hell? What the hell is that son of a bitch doing out here? What is Cypress doing? What is he doing? That low life son of a bitch. What is Cypress doing out here, ladies and gentlemen? Tech flipping off Cypress! Oh! 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 And now throwing that chair. What is going on? What is he on? doing? He's helping Arcadia. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. <coughs> the pin. Oh, no way. I, what is going on? You suck. Ted kicked out of the pin. Damn it. Even after the interference from Cypress, Tech still kicked out. What the hell is Cypress doing out here? What is, go what is, what is going on between these two men? Oh my god! No way! That's it! One, two, three! Damn it! Damn it! No! What the hell did he just do? It is now time for your main event of the evening. Introducing first at this time, the UWA Elite Champion, Finn Grayson. What is he doing out here? I love this guy. One of my good friends. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Brawl for it all match. Woo! Participants drew numbers at random earlier this evening. The individuals who drew numbers one and two will start, and every 90 seconds, another individual will enter. Only an hour-long match right now. A wrestler is eliminated when he's thrown over the top rope, and both feet touch the floor. The last wrestler in the ring, after all 30 men have entered, will be declared the winner, and will challenge for the UWA Elite Championship at last breath. That's me. Yeah! And now, the individual who drew number one, Oh my goodness! What the fuck by Quest? From Bayonne, New Jersey, representing Paramount, Mike Quest. And the individual who drew number two. Oh, it's beast mode time! From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Kyle Wynan. Whoa! I've 
already beaten him twice. Why does he deserve a shot at my title? Well, here we go, folks. Here we go, Mike Quest out having her way on the back of Kyle Wyden. This match, 30 men over the top four rules. Mike Quest stuck in that line, coming to Kyle. The sit up drop kick to Kyle. <laughs> there will be at, at set intervals here, folks. The new one will enter. All 30 men in. Here we go. Mike Quest is back. Kyle, back drop him over the top, and a big pop to the head. My question is danger of being eliminated here. That's going to bring himself back in. Open over Kyle. Get the rope. Big drop kick by the beast. That does not feel good. I've experienced it firsthand. That'll knock a couple teeth out. Get up. Get up. We're patiently awaiting the arrival of the number three participant in this match. Well, whoever it is is going to be in for a run. Ignoring us. Stuck in a big spinning kick there by Kyle. More like a pillow. Kyle of a pillow, yeah. Quest could be out here. That was a hell of a blow to the head. Yeah, but now you got to get the dead weight over the top. Not a, not a good situation. Well, you know, this is a great match. Obviously, you know, Brawl Brawl is one of the things we all look forward to all year. Five, oh. four, here we go. three, two, Number three. one. Getting in less than gracefully as he goes after Mike West. Getting to stand up and he thinks he deserves a shot at the UWA champ. Well, Maxwell can deserve a shot at any title here at the UWA. He's proved himself countless times. He's had his share of uh, issues with the power battle. Mike Quest take, getting that kick. Kyle, what's going on here? Kyle with a cartwheel over. Oh, and he kicks the back of the head. What a show off that Kyle winding in. Well, like I was saying before, we all look forward to Brawl for all, all year, but. You know, I gotta see this sour note with with the odds-on favorite Sean Davis McNellis being not allowed to compete here today. Are you kidding me? No, I'm Are not you kidding. kidding you. No, Sean, Mc Sean McNellis is the hero of the people here in the United Wrestling Alliance. And the fact that you and your big buddy Dave Swan got him somehow excited for this match yeah. is ridiculous and horrible. Listen, I had nothing to do with Swan's decision. Oh no! I had sure to do you have zero to do with that one. Nothing to do with it. Sean came out here on All Stars and cost him himself oh, a spot. Oh, he, he should have only sunk a blade. Oh, my quest! We're gonna bring on Kyle White here! Four, here comes number three, four! Two, Who's it gonna be? One. Deep in his fag bag there. And he throws the powder in the eyes of Mike Quest. No doubt about it, Joey G, as Kate Cassidy oh my, takes it to Mike Quest. Oh my god, the crowd is going crazy. It's the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Max and Kate Cassidy are trying to get rid of Quest. Kyle gonna join him. We got three on one here. This is not fair. Quest, Quest is outnumbered here. This is not looking fair. good for Quest. This kick has to be got bitten by the wrestling bug in this Look, nightmare. If anybody's gonna win this, Mike Quest definitely can because <laughs> Quest is best. And Mike Quest is definitely my pick well, to win this one. But right honestly, guys, I think we could rule that Kate Cassidy. Yeah. Oh, just saying. Yeah. I did. I did with my good friend Kate Cassidy. He's a very accomplished in ring competitor. I hope you know he can hear. No, he can't. He'll hear me later. Five. Oh, four. Number five. Three, two. One. Oh, it's not Gearheart is going to win this thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to quote you on that in about five seconds. I'll give you my work over there on Kate Cassidy. 
Hey, yo, yo, Archie, get out here. Poke to the eyes, Jackson, poke to the eyes, Kyle. Shoot! A double axe handle there by Cassidy. Yeah! 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 Big four in the corner. I had a little trouble trying to lift the yeah. top leg of the rope first. RJ Gerhardt is a veteran of pass brawl for all as are Mike Quest and Kyle on it. Brawl for eight. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why uh, Gerhardt went after the biggest man in the room, but... No, Gerhardt's out, Gerhardt's out there. I'm sure whoever throws him out will become the next big jerk of the week. And I can't wait to not watch him anytime. How do you know that someone's going to throw it out? He could win this thing. We don't know that. Oh, that's fine. There are 25 men left to enter this match. If one of these men are going to win, they have to withstand the score. And RJ, get out! Throw it out! Kyle! Oh, 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 oh. Well, you know, it's safe to say whoever wins this match is going to be the winner. Three, two, oh, there goes one. Let's see. What we got here? Yeah, Confess. Oh, and Mike Quest gets back up. Look out, Cassidy. And they don't shot with the head there. Oh, Mike Quest is going to stop Rose. Oh, behind the camera. Oh, he comes in for Gerhardt. Hey, dude. Oh, 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 second, oh, second, 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 Gerhardt bouncing up on the on the ropes there. Oh. Throwing him out. Gerhardt's gone! Oh. So what were you saying about five seconds ago about Gerhardt going all the way? I said, oh. I said there's a good chance that Gerhardt would be eliminated, and he got eliminated. Okay, Cassidy just got to take it to him. Right quest style. Down, Max. Ah. Down. You're in over your head, Maxim and Cassidy are out. That just leaves Kyle against two hours of Paramount. This is not good for Kaiwan, but you know what? Kaiwan deserves it. He tried to disrespect me when I first won this title, and now it's going to come right back to me. I'm really glad that we're bringing everything back to you. Oh, it's all about me here in UWA. I'm the champion. Oh, cool. they're, 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 they're graciously deciding who's going to uh, throw over Kaiwan in here. And there goes Kyle! Kyle out of here! Slipping and sliding in the mud like a pig. Oh great. Now we're gonna have Paramount Paramount as they chant Paramount. Who's number seven? Kermit the Frog, who Brian Brass had a few things to say about earlier this week. <laughs> Welcome back, Rebel. I am, so I am so happy to see Rebel here. I, you know, this is wrestling. There's no room for joking and, and comedy and this kind of crap. What's up, Rebel? I don't think he does. Uh, does he Brass even know doesn't what he's have to doing? take this. Rebel's going to sleep, apparently. <laughs> More than anything in the world. I'm so happy to see Rebel here. Rebel taking him down. Oh. Quest going after Rebel. Oh. Rebel was Rebel He's held the distinction yeah. of being number one in every brawl for all for about five years running. Get this piece of trash out of the ring. Rebel is not a piece of trash. Rebel's a better man than you'll ever be. A black. Oh. Oh. oh, poor Rebel with authority. Oh, somebody, somebody get a oh giant pink Can we please up. get number eight out here to help Rebel? He's gay! Rebel's all by himself. If, if Rebel was number seven, Five, nobody knows who number four, eight is. Three, two, one. Oh, what we got here? Oh, no! No! Get him out! Get him out! Run, Quest, run! Somebody get one! Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, sorry, is he? Arrow, a drive. Arrow, doesn't stand a chance. Arrow, when I first debuted here in the WWE, I beat. Arrow, you been, is every guy that you com that you've defeated through chicanerous I'm methods here? I'm undefeated here. here. I I never lost here in UWA. I will never lose here in UWA. Hey, Rebels here. Who is Rep? I still don't understand this. Re Rep, there's no explaining, Rebel. You just gotta have to experience him. No, the only experience we need to worry about is the Finn Grayson experience. I really wish Rebel would have come out. Thank you, Johnny Wise. <laughs> Yeah! Well, here, here's a here's here's a tag team waiting to happen. Strike, 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 strike. Why are you trying to shout America? Because he's patriotic. Strike, strike, strike. Patriotic party. Oh. But, oh. Wait, I don't understand. I, I don't. Get oh it. no! 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 One more chance! One more chance! Come on! Listen, no matter how much you want it. It's Four. Three, two, one. Lucky number ten. Oh. It's alright, Rebel. Really. It's better than all. There we go. Oh. Better than all. Get the right. Go hard to get the best. Go hard, Rebel. 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 Go Crowd chanting Uncle oh, Fester. Oh, that, that's... You see, that's this. Ah. Wow. <laughs> class list. Class list. I'm a man of integrity and class. Right, right. Point at you. Joe Ball. It's a five time Uncle let you know Fester look like contest winner. You see, Brian Brass, he's big and he's and he's good in the ring. And I'm not. I'm gonna give him his dues. But you know Before what? Ah. Exactly. And I, I, I've learned things from watching his old stuff. Thanks for coming, Strife. And there goes Joe Hall! He's fantastic, but Brian Brass and Mike Brass don't have a thing. I mean, I'm 17 years old, and I'm the UWA League champion. I am better than both of them combined, probably. Funnily enough, uh, both Brian Brass and Mike Quest actually won their UWA Heavyweight title. Who's in the ring? And who's and watching? Do I have to do I have to Yes, yeah, he jumped a man who was severely beaten and then picked the ball. I had nothing to do with what the brother did. I, I can't wait to see who 11's going to be. He could be a deciding factor in the match. One. Depending on who the hell he Going up top yeah, might not be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. He's wasting his time it, looking for the approval it, of the idiots in the, the crowd. These the people, they don't know talent. Shh, I'm talent. Shh, shh. Feels good. UWA! Yeah. Who wants to go see? 
swimming! Oh my God! He's gonna bring back the cannonball! Push your fucking ass off! My quest is up there. Push it off, quest! Cypress is up though. Oh, there goes the king! Crowd for ah. and that's why he got oh, it. And the Paramount is going after Tech. It's just a mugging now. Cyrus is the only man legal in this match right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Hedges pushing away well, King Tech. No, no, give it all up for him. This Hedges, he came here and he's ready to win it. Now we're going to see true class wrestling between Cypress and Hedges. That's what we're going to see. Wait, wait, wait. in there. I don't like these other people. You go out here. Let's just wait to see who comes out next. Bye bye, me. A real smart, smart decision. Very smart decision from both of us. They know that they gotta work together in order to survive, and then they can worry about each other when they're down to the last two. Shut up! You both suck! You both suck! You both suck! They're taking a breather. Unbelievable. This crowd is classic. The the well, the people. well, they are. They are. They are quite witty at times. That was not one of those times. Let's hear for Cypress! Let's hear it. Shut up. Five, four, three, two, one. By the Brotherhood. Oh, Scout robbed with that by the Brotherhood. You see, I saw Scout in the locker room and wears his shirt with his name on and everything. You know, the reason he does that is because people don't know who he is. But I don't have to know who I am, but the Scout is just... Where's the Frog didn't know who the hell you were? Where's the Frog? Where's the Frog? I don't care. He's then why are you arguing with him like that? What they say about Kermit the Frog, he's got a hand up his ass. A double login knocker there by the scout. Unbelievable, brother. Now the goal of the eye title. Oh! <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Brother, and also yeah, next week he's going to shine the tag team titles. If they win that, they control two thirds of the titles in the UWA. Who has Well, you heard what Valentine said. I have a feeling that the eyes of the Brotherhood are starting to turn to you. Let's go. And look, Scout's about to get eliminated right now. Yeah. It's just, it's no match. He's no match. He's no match for these two yeah. behemoths. Scout, yeah. the leader of the of the great series of wrestling events. Scout, my friends. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh. 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 It's Joey Chaos. Three people bastard. Disagreeing. Joey this man Chaos, is sick. Uh, I can't believe that he actually he's enjoys. He's kind of up in the air. Oh, and, and Hedges, Hedges and Cypress, come on. They might be doing uh, Chaos more of a favor here than they know. New Knox was sick. Now, you, you've been through the, the, Don't well, the, the, the hits experience. Can you imagine what it takes for someone to actually enjoy it? Uh, you had to be sick and demented. Look at you talking about it. See, we're making steps. It's like terrible. We're gonna get a talk. Now, when he jumps you up and, up and put the makeup on. Listen, this is not what you should be talking about. It's how whoever wins this over and all is gonna have no chance at all. At last breath. Because I'm still gonna walk out of last breath with the UWA Well, Cyrus is having none of the unorthodox offense of Joey Chaos. 
Yeah. And, you know, it's funny you bring up offense and Joey Chaos in the same sentence, because every time I see him, I'm offended. If you offend you, it's got to be something pretty spectacular. Listen, you won't Five, you won't go, you won't four, three, three two, one. That's what we got here. Number 16. Oh, it's Redfield. He got kind of in the way there. Well, you don't want to get in the way. Well, you know what, Bob, Bobby Heenan always used to say the Battle Royal is the most dangerous match in wrestling, and he's right because you know you never know what's going to happen with. Uh... Whoa! This guy's on that sharpshooter! I don't know why he's going for submissions in a battle royal. Uh, soften him up. You got to get everybody out of there as fast as possible. You want to be the lone man in the game. You want to be able to start a fire with twigs, but. He doesn't know how to win a battle royal. Uh, uh. Yeah. Scout's got a merit badge in battle royals. Yeah. You know Scout makes those merit badges up. No, he doesn't. I've actually been to a couple of uh, ceremonies. I think. Uh, uh, he pays people to come there and give him the awards. Like, he's got to the money to pay people. Uh, Chris job to come work here at UWA. Uh, well, obviously, uh, he made a bad decision. Uh, oh, Cypress! Oh, no, wow, that was close. Foot did not hit the ground. That was way too close. Five, four, exactly three, two, one. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my but it may better you guys know Cypress has won more Brawl for Alls than anyone. Okay, uh, you sick man. Someone should get him out of here. Why? Oh, there goes. Thank you. Thank you, Cypress. Scout! How does it feel to be a loser? Oh, Arkham is just taking it to the south. Scout has always been a loser. He got lucky in our wrestle. And finally, reality set in. Scout is a good man. He he is a, a honorable human being. And it's a shame what happened to him I'll have you know that my good friend TJ Blade was not tapping out. Yes, he did. Oh, no. He saw Bug and tried to kill him. He was not tapping out. Of all the people in that car, yes. How does it feel to be a loser? Scout definitely having the most experience of being a loser the past about 28 years. Go ahead. I'm not even going to merit that with the, uh... I, you know, I heard Scout has a merit badge in the losing I'm sure people get the reference that was quite hard. TKO again, he's way in over his head. I mean, he may have his guy in that Oh, Scout! Go after Arkham! Oh, Arkham goes low, though. Saves himself. Very clever for Arkham. Despite the fact that Scout is a UWA original, I don't believe he ever has competed in the Brawl for All. I mean, it's for a shot at this show. Scout was the eye champion. He's capable of being a champion. Yeah, he's some mediocre second class champion. Not a first class UWA league champion. Five, four, we got here number three, 19. two, one.
Big Damn was in Survivor Series too, but I was uh, a little busy. You know, being a chill. Big Damn Cypress now working over TK out in the corner while Edge is in Arkham are trying to throw out the scout. Chris Redfield taking a little breather in the corner. Scout's almost out of here, but. Oh, dear life. His feet were on the right side of the Go. Big Dan surveying the scene. Big Dan's got to be the odds on favorite here. He's got to be. Big Dan's Big Dan's got to be high. Whatever. I can be with it. This is awesome. I get to take the title and still beat you up. It's the best day ever. Cypress put the scatter. Caruso. Oh. oh, going with those Caruso forearms. Oh. Five, four, we got number 20! Oh. Who's it gonna one. be? Oh. Oh, wow. Crowd Roller! Right? And you know, after I had you dead earlier today, Rob Roller got for him like that one more! I can't get there! Get out of here! Come on, get out of here! Well, they're roommates, so they're working together. Yeah, you would know that. I do know that. I beat Robbie Roller fair and square earlier. Oh, Hedge is coming in. Oh, my God. It's getting quite crowded in there. Well, there we go. See, everyone trying to get rid of CKL. Very smart decision from the Paramount. You got two members of the Paramount in here. One member of the Brotherhood. Big Dan. No, no, come on! Oh, very scout, very go, smart go, 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 Come on, Big Dan, get him out of here. Oh, Scout's hanging on for dear life. Here comes number 21. Three, two, one. Brotherhood, you got two power mouths. You got a big dance. Hey, one big dance. One big dance. One big dance. And four scouts. And four scouts. And four scouts. Four. Four. Scout or Brotherhood. Four. 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 You know, if Dave and some of our scout friends come out next, they, you know, to help them out a little bit in this, uh, I guess you would say, faction warfare. There you go. Hedges, trying to throw out Hedges, but it's going to take more than just him to do that. Hedges is still my pick to win this. It's just a logical choice. Roger Roller almost out of here. It's like an inverted side effect thing. Well, effective nonetheless. Massacre oh. on fire here, going to work on the scout. Oh. Five, four, oh, we got number three, two, one. one. Continues to pound it on the scout. Yard, bro. TJ ah. Blade nine. has a TJ Blade has a good advantage because he just smells ah. so fantastic. We got about 11 men in the ring right now. Ah. Somebody's got to get going. Ah. In my opinion, it should be Scout or Robbie Roller. 
<laughs> you're okay with TK outstated? Oh god! Okay, where's TKO? Why does TKO have to have self No, I lost TKO. I'm blending into the background and all that foliage. It looks like dirt. What? You're the, you're the face of this company and you're, you're making racial remarks against African Americans? Racial what? I didn't say that. You said it looked like dirt! He's black. I didn't know such thing. The NAACP is going to be all over us. I got a good lawyer for you, Grayson. Don't worry about it. Uh, Thank you, Wiseau. Oh, no! 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 Cyprus, I guess he didn't realize Scott was out here. Brandon he apparently him. just likes colors because he just wears <laughs> multiple colors. Oh, oh, he sees oh, something he likes. The second knockout punch, Argentine today. Oh, that, a punch to the face. Oh, there are way too many people in this I don't race. Feel dead. Get over here. I was going to say if Brandon was Get smart and suggesting a, 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 a winning um, scenario, but that would involve Brandon being smart and that'll never happen. Well, you know. Brandon is oh, Cyprus and Jimmy yeah, yeah. trying to get Brandon to pull out of here. No, 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 Working on Robbie Roller and they do those two. I look at the history. We have Robbie Roller almost out. And of course he doesn't go out. Folks, this is this is usually super card right? We're getting that action. Oh. Oh. Ross almost over. The massacre's out. Oh. You know, you just see how excited Brandon is to be in the match as tights and come to part of the scenes. Oh. Chris Redfield saw something in Roller's eye and tried to get it, but Roller was just resisting too much. Absolutely. You know, Roller just does not want to get thrown out of the smash. Roller just wants to win. He wants to go on spin tracing, but it's not going to happen. I've already beaten him twice. That's why you have. Davis now working on Redfield. Trying to get rid of him. Redfield holding on for GLI. I don't think Redfield's a in, in a brawl for all. Big Dan's trying to get rid of both of them. Davis is up. 
We're, we're down to the nitty gritty here, guys. This is the prime real estate section here. 26. Come on, let's get out. Number 26. We're almost up to five. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's the Dr. John Bones. This is just a shot. It's always, it's always nice to have a challenge. Oh, Kick Hassley, I didn't want to see you. You lost the damn match. Now you're going to come stick up the Well, I figured if uh, I'm doing nothing else in the back, might as well try to take the rest of this rougher. this guy before Mr. Nightmare and he thinks that he can come back in to try to continue. Ever Cross Ever Cross sorry to cut you off yourself but Ever Cross is out of the brawl for it all. And now uh the creator wrestler is lighting TJ Blade up in the corner. So I was going to say about creator wrestler, you know, he, he's a little bit inexperienced. He's kind of green, they say. Oh, I get it. I see what you did there. So the Cypress, as he throws the creator wrestler right into TJ Blade. And you see John Bowe is going out over there. Hedges was almost eliminated. Number 28. There's only 30 guys in this town. It's winding down now as uh, as Dr. John Bose is just playing with the with the green dude. You know, you think him being a wrestler all that he's got a bigger moveset. Three, moves, but... two, got him all. Yeah. Just can't use it. Another worthy competitor for my, my champion, John Roman. And the uh, creator wrestler making the greenhorn motion. Get out of my room! Oh. 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 Not over the top. Now, I, I'd be surprised if he ever really got back in the match after that shot. Well, he can still get back in. John Roman, and TJ Blade, former, former UWA Tag Team Champions. Just playing with Dr. Mike Davis now. John Roman Cypress is bumped back to back there. You know the history between those two. And just because the chains of heart, don't believe that Cypress and John Rome are friends all of a sudden, because that is definitely not the case. Edges, Edges is teetering, teetering here. He's in a bad spot. Oh, ADH, the head of Edges. He's out. Why is that move legal? I don't understand why that move is legal. It's a kick to the head. Perfectly legal move. Head, head Five, robbed four, of a right there. Three, two, one. Twenty-nine going to be.
He should be arrested for harassment going Jesus door to door. Christ. Jesus Christ! Jesus well, that, Christ! The beauty of this, uh, of this match is that's legal in this match. As he tries to eliminate John Rome with help from Robbie Roller. You can't team up two on one like that. You can't do that. I, I believe you're wrong. Stupid idiot! Uh oh. John, John Rome's in a bad spot now. Dr. John Bowes lighting him up the floor. Shake to the head, and John Rome has seen him in the danger zone. Uh, Elder Foreman so far not doing that bad. Getting a little help from Dr. John Bose. And once again, John Rome teetering on that apron of the ring. Well, not number, number 30, that, and that's going to be it. Well, whoever's number 30 is going to obviously be a decisive sacrifice. Here we go. Two, the lucky number thirty. Point wise, though. Well, I can't even see what's going on. Uh, look like Valentine was trying to get rid of Redfield over there. Very smart decision. Redfield is one of the better competitors in this I've matchup. Read, absolutely, he's got backup in there. Yeah. He's still got the tag team champions in there, and that's the Paramount going after them. Well, you want to split up anyone that's got someone in there with their back. Taking oh. tag team and there goes! Paramount. What's no, left no, of the Paramount? And there goes the Tag Team Champion at the hand. And there they go at it, right there. And now they're brawling on the outside of the ring here in the action. We're down to the final four. We got Dr. John Bose, John Rome, Vincent Valentine, and Robbie Roller. You know, it might be a little bit of a disadvantage for Valentine to have that jacket because he can trip up on it. That was funny. You want you want to wear a nice nice garment? That's why I went out sporting very nice pair of Zubas. Dr. Mistaken. John Bowes. Is the Green Man Supreme Wrestler still in the match? Absolutely. I mean, I think I think he got escorted to the back. If, if he's coming. injured and unable to uh, participate in the match, that rules him eliminated. I yeah. guess so. <laughs> Hey, you can't blame him for it. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, the Dr. Both got both guys. Be careful. Legs. If those feet no. touch the floor, he's out. Yeah, and he's at a disadvantage at that point because he has very, very long legs. He is a tall, tall man, but yeah, no. He is at a disadvantage. He, they cut her to Robbie Roller. Nail in the coffin. And there goes Roller. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time. We're shopping with the guy? Great. We're down to the final on, three get here. Ah, get pulled. No! Ah. Get over, John! Ah. <laughs> Rome! Ah. Rome! Thank you! Superstar John Rome has won the Brawl for it all! What?! Wait! Oh, your green man's still in there! Oh my god, green... Ah! Yeah! That's what's up, man! What is time? What is How going on? Bro? 
gentlemen, the winner of the Pro Fertile, Sean Devin Fitzellis. No, this is not possible. No, he was not allowed in this match. I see you. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm your daddy. Do you want to face that cross? I don't know what you say right here. Hey guys, it's me! You like this outfit? It's a little, shows a little much. But anyway, the truth is, buddy, I get to look you right in the eyes when I say this. I'm the number one contender. Sean Damage McNellis is challenging you at last breath. And guess what? I already know my stipulation. Isn't that part of it? Is that I right? pick my stipulation? Is that right? Is that right? No. It doesn't matter, Sean. You're still going to lose. We're going to do it in a steel cage match. So eat your Wheaties. Drink your milk. Lift some weights. Do whatever you need to do because you're going to be locked in a cage with me. Sean Damage McNellis. Yeah, dog. That's been great since going to be locked in a cage with right, Wiley Trump. Yeah. Steel cage. Me. Steel cage, me and you. No swan, no Vince Regal, nah, screw it. No swan laryngitis, no producers, no lawyers. Me, you, one on one. And I won't be wearing such a ridiculous outfit. But it's still green. Very nice. Play my music. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the brawl for it all. 